Well, hello there, my friends. Chris Marcus here with you for Arcade Economics. And this morning, have a brief update as we have some news out from Kuya Silver, who has intersected some native silver veining at the Campbell Crawford area of their Silver Kings project in Ontario. New discovery is within a kilometer of five major mines that have produced a total of 48 million ounces of silver, one kilometer north of the North Drummond area, and 750 meters southeast of a 1,300 grams per ton silver intercept that was done back in 1981 by Silver Century Explorations. Native silver was intersected in the second drill hole, where drilling is ongoing along trend. The mineralization appears to be primarily native silver, but they've also found cobalt mineralization as well. They've reported silver stringers above and below the vein, which increases the potential width of mineralization. And the intersection was 170 meters below the nearest underground workings, 230 meters below surface. And despite being surrounded by historic mines, this area is virtually untested and has never been mined. And we have a comment here from David Lewis, who is Kuya's exploration director. And he mentions, despite more than a century of intensive mining and exploration, the legendary cobalt mining camp is still generating exciting results. The area was known to host low-grade mineralization on surface and in shallow exploration tunnels, but has never been tested systematically. And work by Kuya in 2022 identified the area that hosts favorable structures for mineralization, particularly at depth. And they had two drill holes to test what was going on there. The first drill hole intersected some previously known mineralized veins and four previously unknown mineralized veins at depth. And the second hole was stepped back and drilled beneath the first hole and intersected the first of the previously known veins, which leads them to believe that's confirming their exploration model for the area. So Kuya is getting some confirmation of their exploration efforts at the Silver King project, which is, of course, some good news. I'll leave the link to this press release so you can go through the full details in the description field below. But congratulations to Kuya Silver as they continue to move their other project forward. Of course, this is in addition to their Bethania project, which they are expecting to go into production later this year. So we will wrap up for now. But thanks for checking in, as always, and I will see you a little bit later.